All right, we're back again. Uh, really, the only positive thing about that death is that I'm not embered any longer, so all those invasions that were giving me so much trouble when we were trying to get through this cooperatively, those should no longer be a concern. If I find out that I can get invaded while... while unkindled, which I know isn't the proper word, but that's the word I'm going to use, if I find out that I can still get invaded, I'm going to be dismayed, to say the least. Okay, let's take that run. This is what we ended up doing, because the next bumper is at the base of this ladder, and that is a long climb. And so we kind of decided it was best to continue using the old bonfire. rather than climb this thing after every death. But yeah, as I said, these guys did not kill me the first time I was in here. Of course, I had Lance with me, so that certainly changes the odds. And, but of course, you guys also saw, even with Lance, that one on the bridge killed me a time or two. Ooh. Okay, what was that? Fucking second one. No, no, no. No, I fucked up big I fucked up big time. I was trying to heal there and I failed to heal and god, you fucking asshole. I think I need to lose my lock on when he that time. So I seem to be rolling kind of into it and it hits off of this place long. Back. That just triggered my second chance. Okay, send him by. Three. That's that. But there goes all my stamina. My stamina man. Magic pure. What was I gonna say? Not pure. I almost said pure, but I meant poor. That's poor, very poor in the management for me. And that's why this fight's going so poorly. But I got it, and it was the ring of favor. And this is one of those moments I wish I had the original. Because I got I got pretty excited. I get, you may be able to tell I don't I don't get terribly excited about many things. But uh, I was uh, what? I, I have the gold serpent ring. I don't know if I showed that on video or not. I probably probably didn't. But I was like, Ring of Favor, is that is that the Ring of Favor? You know. I was kind of I was excited to see it. I was. Hey buddy. Yeah. So this is the covenant that all the invaders are coming from. If you remember that covenant, by which I mean you have it equipped, you can automatically be summoned into other people's worlds to kill them. Not, not, not a unique uh, mechanic that's been in at least Dark Souls 2. Now that was in Dark 1 with the forest as well, so. Not a unique covenant, but it is interesting. And here is this massive ladder. That we decided we didn't want to climb up. I actually had to climb up this thing like three times before we decided we weren't gonna do it anymore. I don't know if he ever had to climb up it. Fucking Lance. And now this right here gets quite familiar. You see, sometimes you see that message. Oh, seems familiar. Something, you know, something to that end. This is this is one of the places that really does serve it. Cause this is very familiar. 
So we're gonna walk up these. I, I keep calling them ramparts. I know they're not. But I don't know what the word would be. So walk up the edges. And you've got Silver Knights shooting right for your punch. Wow. They don't give a fuck, do they? Wow. Well, part of me is uh, happy that you're getting to see me struggle here because I was afraid that having gone through the area, you know, it took us three and a half hours to get through this. From the Sullivan Bonfire to the boss, you know, to the boss. I, I don't know why I struggled over that sentence so hard. I, I, get, I, I know why I struggled over it, and I will tell you why. Because I wanted to say the name of the bonfire. You know, I, I said the Pontiff Sullivan bonfire, and then I wanted to say the name of the next boss, his bonfire. But I hesitated on that because it really it seems a spoilerish. I don't know why I care. Uh, nobody's nobody's watching this before playing the game, so I don't know why I care if I spoil you. But that's what it was. I wanted to keep myself from saying the name of the next boss. And so I struggled, but uh, that's what it was. Three and a half hours from that from that bonfire to this next boss, and typically my second time through an area is much faster. You know, when I downloaded the Japanese version a couple months ago now, well, about six weeks, about six weeks ago, downloaded the Japanese version. It took me roughly 45 minutes to go through the tutorial level. And I started my second character. And it took me 15 minutes. Yeah, and that's, that's typical of me. Yeah, I spend a lot of time looking around, making sure I see everything. And uh, learning the enemies and all that stuff. And the next time through, with the advantage of foreknowledge, I'll, I'll kind of rush. I'll speed run it. I don't see that. Seven on helm, that's cool. My first time, I will say, I saw that, I saw that pick up. I jumped down to it. I, I didn't see these stairs. Again, he was hosting first, so he got the... He got up to this area first, and so I just saw that pick up and jump down. I'm not really seeing. He doesn't explore as much as I do. Like he, he'll, he was actually stuck out in that plaza. I got, I don't know where to go. He said to me, and there's there's a door, a pretty obvious doorway at the end of the plaza. But yeah, he's just not as. Oh, what's the word? Obsessive, maybe? Probably not. Though that would be true. He is not as obsessive as me. He doesn't look through each and every crevice to make sure that he sees things the way that I do. Like, he'll see an enemy, he'll go to that enemy. And then he'll, he'll pretty much just follow the path of enemies until you know, he finds a boss. But when I host, you know, we're looking around every corner. Like, even if I make him try something, like, I'll say, hey, try this, see if you can do this. And, and like, the fog that, the fog that leads back into Sullivan's room. I asked him to try, like, hey, can you walk through this fog? He said, no, can't do it. I still, I still had to try it myself when I host it. I'm a crazy person. Who has to see everything? I really do wonder about that because there are things like I know there's a shortcut down this way, and I know I don't give a shit about that shortcut, but I'm still gonna go open it. I'm not gonna use this shortcut, no way. But I am still going down here. Gotta pick up this large shard, and I'm gonna open the shortcut, and I don't know why. Because I know I'm not going to use this shortcut. But 
This is right back. That's that's the door into Pontiff's place. This is where all the deacons were. That's that shortcut. What is my time here? Seems like it should be well, uh, about about four minutes left for this video. That's good. Uh, that'll give me a chance to run into this next area. After I drop down and get this treasure. This one I think I do have to yeah, find. I didn't find another one. So. The Dragon Slayer bow. I'm not going to end up using it. I considered it. I really did consider it with, the, with either of these characters, I think. Maybe not this one. What is it? 40 strength, yeah. 40 strength on this character. 36 strength on my main character. But neither of them going to use that bow. Seems like a bit of a waste. My third character, I mentioned my third character. That character has specific goal. Specific goal. I, I may not say what that goal is because it's kind of silly. But uh, I was watching videos of other YouTubers, other Dark Souls community members. I was watching them play and they were doing things I've already done. I'm not I'm not watching past where I've been with any of them. They're, they're not that far yet anyhow. But they showed something that I had missed, and so I, I kind of looked it up. And I'm going to stop this story and talk about this, actually. I, I will get back to that. This room, and I, I immediately recognized it. Like, I came down in here, I, I saw these three stones, and I immediately knew what the room was. And I told him put on the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Which this character does not seem to have it. So where the fuck did I get that? Wow. This character missed that. But he said it did nothing. I said try just hitting it. Just saying it worked. Then I came down here. It's time to do the Dark Moon loyalty gesture. He didn't have that gesture. So I tried it when I was the host. It did nothing. <laughs> oh, fuck. And so I just walked in. This is interesting. Now this corpse was not here. Not The chameleon. The corpse out there, the chameleon was not here. And this corpse is not here either. Let there be love. Is that Henri? Yes, it is. That is interesting. Ah, uh, she was yeah, she was definitely she was not there for my main character. Reversal. I still don't know what that... Let me try something. Now that the corpse is here, I want to see if that does anything for this. No. I, I, I don't know... I don't understand this reversal ring at all. N not at all. I really don't know what that... I don't know what that might be used for. I, I truly don't. Oh, that's my timer. So I'm going to walk out of this room. And then that'll be the end of this video. Uh, yeah, Henri's dead. That's interesting. And this guy. This guy was not here. I have a speculation about that. I will talk about it next time.